Hello. Oftentimes you'll want an online server to keep your components and also your schematics and just your whole project. So in this video, we'll create another part that's this solder jumper here, but we're going to commit it to the server. If you don't have your server set up, this is called Altium 365. And to do that, you go to Altium, click on here where you might say connect server or something or make a server. Go to my Altium 365, get it set up. Once you've set it up based on the instructions, you'll have it active in your active workspace. And then when you create a new project, you can have the project active in your online workspace. All right, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, pretty much everything else in this tutorial is the same for creating a part, but we just commit it to the server. All right, let's get started. Welcome back. Let's create the second part. We can go to File, New Component. And for this, we can do miscellaneous. I want to show you the various different ways you can create parts and components. So instead of our normal or typical schematic library, you can create a new component in your workspace. So we will call this, what do we want? This will be S jumper. S jumper. Three, three position. Solder jumper, three pads, and pins. Case package, uh, not relevant. Number of pins, three, yes. Mounting technology, uh, where I won't fill that in. Drop component data sheets, don't have a component data sheets. Add symbol, we'll, let's use the wizard. If you want to try out Altium Designer free trial, just use the link in the description below. But this wizard may not work exactly like I'm hoping. Let's see. Ah, no, this is good. So on the wizard, we see dual inline, blah, blah, blah. Let's do a single inline, one, two, three. And for the electrical type, I don't want input I want just passive 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 the designative one two three display name one two three if you don't put in the display name you might run into errors when you try to compile the PCB the schematic excuse me group I don't want them in a group description Mm, nah, not needed. This is literally a part. Actually, it's not even a part. It's a footprint of sorts that has no com low physical component on top of it. It's just three pads. Now, I'm going to make these pins pretty short. Let's shorten the pins to, say, 100 mils. 100, 100. And this box, I'm going to delete this. For my three pins, I want them to extend out like on the left and on the right. I'll move this or rotate it with M. I mean, with a space bar. I don't know why I said M. And for the name, click on the pin and then make the name not visible. And then the pin here, not visible. I might even turn the designator off. Great. Now all we need is to change the grid and to add some pad shapes. Let's change the grid to something smaller. Hit G on your keyboard. 
and I think a 10 mil grid will work. Place a polygon. For your polygon, click release, and it will start drawing. Let's zoom in a bit. Click release. Double click to end that and a right click. Good. Now let's continue. It doesn't matter if your inner shapes for the parts are off the 100 mil grid. What matters is that your pins are on the grid. Double click to seal that and then right click to end and then right click. Your properties may be a different fill color. So your border, you can change your border size to from medium to large or small, I use small. You can use a different color for your pads, something like a gold or something. And for the fill color, you can use a different color. That's really cool. So you can play with those numbers, but this is what I use. And mm, looks pretty decent. Let's see. Oh, wait a second, there are three pins. Whoops. Well, let's place the, th the third pin. Place, pin. And then hit tab. So we set, we lock in our properties. I don't, well, let's see. 100, hit tab. I know the name I don't want displayed. Now let's go click on the pause button. Hit space bar in such a way that this X pin, Part of the pin get goes facing upward. And then you can put that in there. And then right click to be done with that. Move your schematic sheet. Notice that the block is underneath this pin. What I'll do is I'll move this pin back. So go to edit, move, send to back. And then select it. Right click, choose done. Well, not done. I'm thinking of a different software. All right, now click on the pin, then turn off the designator. Very good. Hmm, what you know, pin three really should be on the right. So let's move pin number two over here. Move pin number three over here. Use a space bar to rotate. Nice. Control S to save your part that's called S jumper. For the footprint, we can do a footprint, but notice the Shape doesn't show up here. Oh, and what about designator? Let's call this S, 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 J, question mark. Put a description. Solder, jumper, pad, three pins. Standard. Show the footprint. There is no footprint, so we have none. Right click, save again. I'm gonna close my home page. Let's go back to the part creation tab. This is where we add a footprint. Click on the drop down and then do new.
we're going to add three pads. Place, pad. Hit tab. For this surface mount device, I want something only on the top layer, not multi-layer. For my designator, it'll be pin one. For the electrical type load, that's fine. I won't use a template. Let's see, shape will be rectangular. The shape, the width of the pad. Let's see, what size width do I want this pad to be? <sighs> right. So I'll just place a second pad here and then a third pad here. Now, for these pads, for surface mount device, you want the origin to be in the center of mass for the device. Uh, coincidentally, that will be pad number two or pin number two. So let's move pin number one somewhere to the left, place pin number two in the center and then pin number three on the right somewhere. Now, where do we actually place these pins? Based on the original footprint from SparkFun, these, this would be at a negative 35 mil position, so put 35. Hit tab. Whoops, okay. Negative 35, hit tab. There we go. Then this one here is 35 mil, it's pretty good. Let's add an outline. Go to place and then line. Make sure we are in the top overlay. The line with 10 mils is pretty good, quite decent. Hmm, let's see, for our courtyard, um, 20 mils out of the, out of the edge of this pad would be fine. So let's see, if we were to eyeball it, five mils and you go to 25, let's see, or excuse me, 50 mils, negative 50 mils and negative 75. Uh, it's, well, I'll bring it in a bit more actually. Ooh, and you know what? No, 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 no. Here we go, here we go. All right, now. There we go. Right click to end mode. Oops, end mode. All right, now, I did this unevenly. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit, this, this one. Let's move this in. Okay, if we zoom in, we can see that my cursor changes to some weird shape thing. I don't know what that is, but it lets us know you can drag the center of that shape and drag that in, good. Sometimes you won't see that and it's just a regular mouse, you could still drag it in. And I click it, drag that in a bit. Not bad. Now let's add the designator. You can do A on the toolbar here and then designator gets attached to your cursor. If it doesn't, you can always hit tab and then type dot designator. Add dot designator, then right click, to stop adding things. We don't have a 3D model for this because it's just a pad on the on the PCB. So click save. And here's what I'm talking about. If you go to the 3D model, it's loaded here. And then when you maximize that window and then use your left mouse button to drag, we see the power jack. Where is this pad? Okay, zoom in by scrolling up. See right there. And it's supposed to have this piece of copper in between the two. So I'm going to route that. I'm going to manually do that on the schematic and in the PCB layout. You can upload your own designs from LTM or Eagle using LTM Online Viewer 
for free. Check it out in the link below. Save everything. The name of this footprint should be S jumper three position dash footprint. But keep in mind, we are still in the wizard. We are still in the network or general part creation environment. That's at the top here under my workspace. Not the project in here, but in this workspace. I can add simulation. I will not. I have my footprint. I have my schematic symbol. What I'll do is right click on here and save to server. Solder jumper three position um, or demo or something like that it was what's whatever. You can add information. And then this is a revision and so on and so forth. This is called what now? S jumper three POS. Right, but our solder jumper is finished and it can be accessed from our network or in the component, the general integrated component library that you always have access to in Altium. That ends the creation of the solder jumper.